in. Okay, you can always go back to the morning and review those lessons if you want. Second part is the vocab words. We had six vocab words. That's going to be super easy. So those are easy points on the quiz. So you have a quiz on that. All right. Uh, I think we need to do like a study on quiz of the vocab words. Only six this unit. So. Uh, And then today what we're going to do is I'm going to let you guys get into groups and in your groups of Twitter. I'll share my screen. Is there a better time? Yeah. I do. I do. Like ways after instructions. I do. You have half of my rice crispy treat. I'll eat the other. All right, so we did. We finished what, 16 career clusters. Johnny and Dan and Angels. Oh my gosh, I'm having to shut the Chromebooks down. You guys make this so difficult. Yeah. Attention's bad. Let's go. Over a minute. It's like a Come on, you guys can hold this for over a minute. Just give me your attention for over a minute. Let's go. Oh, I see that. <laughs> it's like 30 seconds in the conversation. You guys are already playing the snake game again. <laughs> So you got 16 career classrooms. I love this Ross. How are you doing? Oh, I just said wrong I get that all the time. See who's coming here? This Ross is like halfway in and we're like, wait, this doesn't look right. <laughs> all right, so 16 career classrooms we identified. You can work with a partner on this and fill it out. Maybe you have a partner do one side and you do the other side and then you share it. Okay? It may be easy, but we're doing the same thing. Looking at the clusters, right, and you have them on your slides too, so you can go on your slides on the good jobs in the clusters, or you can just put uh, hospitality and tourism careers into a Google search, pull up the careers, identify three jobs in each one of the clusters, and then whether it's the interest of yours or not, right? Remember, these assignments, guys, are not, I know we're not interested in any field, is to expand our knowledge in these career fields and get a wider base of what careers are out there for everybody, okay? So I don't expect you to write that more, but we do need to have knowledge in the different clusters, okay? So, with that being said, any 
items are received in banking operations of food trucks and church tracks and special event venues. In addition, small towns in large cities. I actually know somebody used to do this. He was a chef and he used to go to all the big events. When he was over in the surgery plant, like all those ones, and he, he would just work big events. Not very fun life. I was like 32 years old, more than makers. So that's the whole point of doing this assignment is researching and identifying all these different career options that are. I love the movie. Yeah, so I'm glad you're up to see that as you your appendix. Now, go ahead and complete the task, because that's what this is for, right? Don't, don't, now that you know how to do it, start to identify those careers and this one, and move past this task. And Johnny, Johnny, just because other people that have to use the phone books finish eating real quick, of yours? Yes or no? You just have to put yes or no. Oh, okay.
So you do the whole cast. I've made it before. We do the whole cast where you lie flat and then you just put it up in the morning and fix it. Yeah. Yeah. I did just put it. That's why I took me a little while. I'm not coming back. Good. I'm shocked. You just amazed me, man. What else can you do?
so many things. It's different You're okay today? I'm going to let it slide. You have a great day. Oh, no, no, no. It's all right. I'll figure it out. All right, let's have a little bit. Are you guys doing it together? Are you guys working with the partners? I don't know. Mm -hmm. We built it.
Hello, Alex. Good afternoon. How are you doing today, sir? Hello, Matthew. Hello, Matthew. Johnny, don't be late. Good afternoon. Have a good day. Yes, Matthew. I uh, remember a good Samaritan story. I do. Did you like that one? Yeah. Good.
Tuesday, September 26th. Let's start with a shout out to all of our teachers out there today. Thank you for uplifting, informing, and inspiring all of us. The news is always up to date. The news is always up to date. Yeah, this news? Yeah, it is. I like this news. It's a great news. Thank you, Oswald. Appreciate you. This is the intent. And we start with the historic warrior strike. After one about 160,000 actors and they're still on strike. Some shows could be back up and running soon, but as for some of your favorites, well, CNN media critic Brian Lowry has more. When is Hollywood going to be able to get back to work? What productions will return? And what can't return? Because the actors, of course, are still on strike. Right, this is going to happen in stages. So uh, some of the talk shows which were already talking about coming back uh, without writers uh, will be back up and running fairly quickly. Things like Drew Barrymore's show. Uh, Variety is reporting that the late night shows, uh, Colbert, Kimmel, Fallon could be back up and running in early October. And then it's gonna be a matter of time. You're gonna need the actors. The actors will likely follow the template that the writers negotiated, but they have some issues that are unique to them. Um, so the writers will have, the actors will have to get their deal done. Uh, I think before you get wholesale scripted production back to work, it's going to be several weeks, and, um, and then you start to run into the holidays. So we really don't know exactly. Ten second trivia. Which band has the longest running fan club? Rolling Stones, Nirvana, Queen, or U2? Says it's the Queen that has the longest official club. Queen? Yeah. Queen Seven Song is still going strong. I can't pronounce it. We will. Uh, so. Oh, okay. Dang, they just gave the answer. So, who can name one Queen song? I don't know how to pronounce it, though. No, no. Wait, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Give me a second. Hey, Xavier, you got it? It better not be another hateful rounds comment. How do you pronounce it? It starts with a B. Or Jolly Rancher, go ahead. What are Rancher? Hey, come get Jolly Rancher. You want a better snack? Nah, that's fine. I was going to say, you can't have enough to make another round comment. Mm-hmm. You should, this chick, you should have seen, like, we're sitting there having a great conversation. Huh? Xavier said, has said less than 15 words to me this whole semester, and all of a sudden he's going to be like, yeah, so I feel like about the math box last night.
Rock and Roll Station. We will rock you now with some space news with quite the rock band connection. NASA successfully landed samples from the surface of an asteroid back here on Earth. The samples originally came from the asteroid Bennu and were collected back in 2020 by the OSIRIS-REx spacecraft while on a continuing mission to explore new asteroids. NASA will share more details about the sample on October 11th. Now, what does Queen song, We Are The Champions, have to do with all this, my friends? Well, the guitarist for the classic rock band, Brian May, is an astrophysicist and a team member for Mission OSIRIS-REx. That stands for Origin Spectral Interpretation Resource Identification Security Regolith Explorer. CNN International Correspondent Michael Holmes will now come at us with some more meteor details about this story. More than seven years ago, NASA set out on a mission to visit an asteroid, collect samples, and return them to Earth. It took more than two years for OSIRIS-REx to reach the asteroid named Bennu, which is nearly 500 meters in diameter, roughly the height of the Empire State Building. It circled Bennu for more than two years, mapping and studying its rough terrain. Then, in a brief touchdown in 2020, when the spacecraft attempted to extract rock samples from Bennu, something unexpected happened. As the spacecraft swooped in to gather some samples, it landed with such force that it set off an explosion of loose materials. The asteroid's surface was softer and looser than expected. Then, after collecting rock materials from the asteroid, OSIRIS-REx departed Bennu in 2021 and has since been on its way back to Earth. Scientists believe that carbon-rich asteroids like Bennu could hold the answers to the mysteries of the origin and formation of the Earth and the solar system. NASA says the asteroid holds the leftover materials from 4.5 billion years ago, back when the solar system was first forming. The spacecraft already found traces of water embedded within Bennu's rocky surface in 2018. So NASA scientists say the samples could take us back to the dawn of the solar system. Well, we believe that we're, we're bringing back that kind of material. Literally maybe representatives of the seeds of life that uh, these asteroids delivered at the beginning of our planet that led to this amazing biosphere, biological evolution, and to us being here today to look back on that amazing history. But the journey isn't over yet for the mothership OSIRIS-REx. Renamed as OSIRIS Apex, the spacecraft will embark on its next mission to chase down and investigate an asteroid named Apophis. Cristiano Ronaldo Neymar Karen Benzema. Some of the game's biggest names now playing their football in a league that until last year many internationally had never heard of. The Saudi Pro League. But why is it happening? Barcelona's president, Juan Laporta, has claimed that there are no sporting re- What do you think about this? Uh, it's the money. The money, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so, what, how do you feel about- It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah. 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 Watching, watching CNN takes you back to sixth grade. Sixth grade? Yeah. yeah. I'm still mad that Carl Zeus doesn't do it. I, I do like Corey Wire, but- But yeah, let's hear about this. I know it's a big deal for many soccer clubs. Yeah. Right? I'm a stud because. What do you think about Messi? This, this team, the one right there, Barcelona? Yeah, sorry. You see that team in the back? Messi. Uh -huh. That's the team that I go for Barcelona. Yeah. And like the player, Neymar, he, he was, he had like a chance to go back to Barcelona, but then he got like a offer from Saudi. Uh -huh. He took it. Did you take it? That's tough, man. They're more yeah. tomorrow. Especially when you like. Some of those players, you're the long-term fan on those teams, right? Because that's where he, like, yeah. he came famous because of this team. He used to play for this team. So it hurts, it hurts to see him leave, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. Anybody else talk before we watch it? Do we say, can tell you guys something to say? Go ahead. No? All right. Reasons for players to make the switch to Saudi. The SPL is a league without the traditional history, playing prestige or status behind its silverware. According to stats company Opta, it's a league ranked only 36th best 
in the world. When a then 37-year-old Cristiano Ronaldo moved to Al Nasser, there were suggestions he saw it as something of a new luxurious retirement destination, but he says he is determined to help it become one of the best domestic competitions in the world. And the arrival of the likes of Neymar, Benzema, Ruben Neves and Roberto Firmino is a sure sign of intent. Saudi Arabia has the money to sign any player it wants if the players want to move there. It's a league without the financial fair play regulations imposed on European clubs with reports of Ronaldo, Neymar and Benzema earning well over a hundred million dollars a year. Previously, clubs in the Saudi League have been owned by the country's Ministry of Sport, but recently there's been a move to privatise several of them as part of a government initiative. The Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund, known as the Public Investment Fund, or PIF, has taken control of the league's four most powerful teams, Al Nasser, Al Ittihad, Al Halal, and Al Pali. Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman is chair of the PIF, which has an estimated value of more than $776 billion in assets, according to its most recent filing. Critics like Human Rights Watch and Amnesty International have accused Saudi Arabia of a calculated sports washing campaign and focusing on football to quote obscure its extremely poor human rights record and its anti-LGBTQ plus stance. But Saudi is a country that says it's been looking to diversify its economy away from oil and has seen the value of sport, particularly with its benefits of attracting new tourism and keeping a relatively young population happy. In an interview with Fox News, Prince Bin Salman said he doesn't care if people call what the country is doing sports washing, as long as it grows his GDP. And attracting players is just the start. If this is about putting Saudi Arabia on the map, there's no better way of doing that than playing host to the biggest and best sporting event on the planet. A World Cup bid is reportedly expected for 2034. Let me know if you've heard this fantastic story getting a 10 out of 10. It's official. A lungfish named Methuselah has garnered the record for the oldest living fish in captivity. The scaly one was brought to San Francisco's Steinhardt Aquarium in 1938, and researchers say Methuselah could be a centenarian. That's 100 years old. And get this, caretakers at the aquarium say Methuselah likes belly rubs. Fish are smart because they swim in schools. Thanks for tuning in today, my sophisticated dogs, especially my phenomenal, or feathery friends rather, in Stanford, Kentucky. Eagles of Lincoln County Middle School, this is your moment, so own it. Thanks for subscribing and commenting on our CNN 10 YouTube channel for your shout out today. Shine bright now. You never know when or how, but you can be the life that someone needs today. I'm Coy, like the fish to spell differently, and I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, so, right, so anybody that wants to earn extra credit participation, anybody want to? If not, we're going to get started on the side So we don't have to write, we're not going to journal this today, because I want to get started straight on comprehension. But does anybody want to earn extra credit points and share out? No, but I'll watch my group. Okay, no, okay, go ahead. Do any of you rap players or that? I'm not the rap players or anything like that. I'm not going to speak on it anymore. But I will show you. Even though you guys were hating on my ramp, I'm still about to get my new ramp shoes. No, but it's not good. How do you hate in those? Do any of you rap players that make that much money, though? 100 million? Not in the year, no. They don't do that at all. Uh, What's like the I, I, don't, I don't even know the biggest contract right now. I haven't been paying attention that much, to be honest. I can look it up while you guys get started, though. So what do you want to know, like the highest paid NFL player? Okay, I'll leave it up. All right, guys, so what, I'll, I'll leave it, give me like a few minutes, and then we'll get started. Is anybody
Jacksonville now? Do you know? What? Highest paid NFL player? I, I think it's Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson? Did you know what you're saying? Yeah, Gunther. That's not, I think that's a safe bet. I think it's a safe guess. Let me get them started and then I'll look it up for you. Uh, I think it's like 35. No, it's more than that. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So we have done numbers one through eight together for our comprehension questions. Model the appropriate expectations. Remember, I'm giving a lot of points on this assignment because we want to get the expectation right. I have to do an on-topic answer and turn that question into a sentence starter and then support it with actual evidence. Okay, we have done one through eight together. You guys did an awesome job. You only have to do eight, uh, nine through 14 today. So six questions on your own. Uh, and let me rephrase that, because you don't have to do it on your own. If you want to work with an elbow partner, you can, or else you can do it on your own. But if you want to follow the same steps, where you're using the front sentence frames to make your answer on topic, and then supporting it with textual evidence. Okay, once you're done, please check in with me so I can look over it. Okay, and if you wanna move next to your partner to get help, you can, okay? If you get stuck, please raise your hand and call me right over right away. Don't wait till the end of class. Call me over right away so we can get it fixed and then get you moving on to the next problem. And we're gonna finish this up today, have our quiz on Friday, okay? Any questions, guys? Yeah. No. Yes, but no phones out. You can take your phone out, you put music on, and put it away. I don't want to see it. Until you get the okay, you checked in with me. I don't want to see it in your hand being a distraction. Well, I'm just going to say my earphones are breaking. What? You'll be okay. You're good. Yes, Matthew? That's the new health assignment. Okay, I'll help you out. Was there another hand out? That's all. Why does Mike stop himself from expressing confusion? So we look at number eight, so we're on number nine here. Go back to eight. Number eight here points to eight in the text. Where we find our answer? I guess the sentence. So when we look at this and what's going on, so remember when he was talking to his grandmother? Who did his grandmother confuse him as? Uh, I think I... As like her husband. As her husband, right? And remember, why didn't he correct her? Uh, I forgot why. Right? Because was, was she thinking clearly? Or was she a little confused? I think she was confused. She was confused, right? So he didn't want to upset her and make her more confused, right? Yeah. So he just went along with the story she was telling. Yeah. Okay, so in my opinion, Mike did not express his confusion because he didn't want to upset his grandmother, right? Yeah.
Bible, seeing how you guys are looking for textual evidence in your books. Need as much help as I can. Okay. My repair hands are on. Question number nine. So looking over here. So. So, do you remember this this part of the story where the nurse brings in Jews? Yeah. And what does the grandma say? She doesn't want the Jews, right? Yeah. Is she kind of difficult with the nurse about not wanting the Jews? Yeah, I think so. She is, right? So what does that say about what type of person she is? Uh, oh, no. It's probably a probably coffee person. Probably what? Probably a coffee person. Coffee? Oh, so instead of Jews, she likes coffee? Yeah. Yeah? Could, could she also, because the nurse tried to offer her different kinds of juices, right? Yeah. And she didn't want any. Could we say she, she may be a difficult person? Yeah, I think so. A difficult person? So, I, so in my opinion, the, her reaction says that she is a difficult person. And then I believe this because, and then you can put the words from the book that All right. make you believe that. Okay? All right. Good job.
you can open that and read it if you want. Just take it home. 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 Just take it home.